Well, hello. How are we doing? <laughs> we ready to have a good time, yes? <laughs> let's, let's get it out of the way. We got Detox in the audience. Give it up for Detox. <laughs> we won't mention it the rest of the night. <laughs> get that shit over with. All right, man, good to see you, my love. <laughs> Snacking over there, that bitch. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a great show for you guys today. Let's call our guests and have a kiki, yes? Oh, it's going to be a good one. Let me give you, uh, just really quick, I know both these ladies, so I feel like we're going to talk a whole lot today, and both these ladies love to talk. So, let's go ahead and bring them out, starting off with the very gorgeous and talented Miss Jiggly Caliente! Come on. Yes. What up, Roscoe? How is it going past me? What did, oh, look, at I'm stealing people's. This isn't even my phone. I'm just taking people's phones. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it up for Miss Silky Nutmeg Ganache. Yes, mama. Ooh, they were applauding for me this time. Ooh, y'all shady. Hey, baby, how are you? How y'all doing? <laughs> bitch, let me tell y'all something. Stop flirting, go. No, I ain't flirting this time, bitch. I'm trying to get up the stairs, bitch. My ankles, bitch. Coronavirus. <laughs> bitch, we ain't walked the hills in a while. And since being on All Stars, my shoe game up, Grady! <laughs> yes, no more Usher Boy heels for me. This is going to be a lovely night. Oh, Come yes, on, ladies. Ladies, have a seat. Ladies, have a seat. Oh, uh, oh okay. <laughs> we good? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we start this shindig, I want to remind you guys that we have the viewing party every single Thursday here mm -hmm. at Everything Drag Race at Roscoe's. And we also have performances on Friday yes. for We're Back Friday. No, We're Fucking Back Fridays. <laughs> So we will see Silky and J uh, What the fuck do you have in here, girl? Snacks. <laughs> <laughs> now what I have <laughs> is have my new cookbook. Oh, come on, bitch. for a quay, bitch. Come on, plug. Yes. And I personally wanted to sign one for Jiggly Caliente because she is in the book. <laughs> oh, word. Did you know you were in this book? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> She had no choice. Well, listen, tomorrow you guys can come check out J. Oh, work, bitch. Spitting image, bitch. Spitting image. It looks just like her, though. It looks exactly like her. So if y'all hey, like it a could book, be worse, bitch. <laughs> At least my drink isn't called a disaster. <laughs> Did I lie? <laughs> Silky. Uh, let me tell y'all something. One thing y'all can. I do not lie, honey. I do not lie. So I'm not lying when I say to y'all. I thank y'all for the love and joy that y'all have given me this season, but I gave this season 11. You just didn't see it because that, I didn't edit it. So you know what? I am the same Silky from season 11, bitch. This time, you just get to see. Bitch, and they had got me too crying. Bitch, you know I don't like to cry in front of people. They had got me, girl. All of those, they got me, got me all of those. You, you know, but I want to sign this and give it to Jiggly because she is in it, and that means I don't have to pay for shipping. So, <laughs> so I'm going to sign this for you. If you would like a cocktail book, it is $40. I take cash credit EBT, but make sure that your pin number is on the back of your EBT card and bring it on up here, $40, and you ain't got to pay for shipping because you go to my website, silkyganage.com, you're going to pay for shipping too. And if you ain't got $40, I got a $10 photo I can sell up here, bitch. <laughs> And if you trying to make up with your boyfriend, I got an oven mitt and an apron up here, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that bitch that's bringing merch everywhere I go, bitch. I'm trying to buy a house. I live. And I'm going to be ghetto and get it one I'm way or the it, other. Okay? I'm all for it. Nation, you with me, ain't it? I, I'm with you, mama. Okay, I'm you like you. the bullshit, too, yeah. huh? <laughs> I live. I just want y'all to know I'm not going to lie tonight. I am not reading anybody until you I get a shit. double Hennessy and lemonade. So... Can I get a double Hennessy and lemonade? Can, can we get her a double Hennessy and lemonade? <laughs> and we'll see how that reading comes along. Because 
I have a feeling that's not gonna. <laughs> See, I upgraded last time. I was here. I was drinking tequila. You were drinking tequila. Yeah. Do you want to mix? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nature. <laughs> Nature. Now, bitch. Fuck it. Try I'm gonna be reading we'll everybody. St- we'll start with Hennessy. And okay. then we'll move over to tequila. If and we'll I'm not see giving you what you want. You right. If, if you ain't giving me what I need, what they need, then we'll move over to tequila. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, guys, again, tomorrow, 10 o'clock, showtime. We have Jiggly and Silky, so make sure you guys come by and check that out. We also have uh, next week's guests. Should we announce those now? Should we wait a little bit? Depends on who it is. Yeah, well, we're going to wait a little bit and announce who, next Wait a minute. Go on and tell me who it is. Uh, all right. Tell next who- week we have Serena Chacha. Is it really? Well, first no, off, we know. want them to be excited. So you need <laughs> to... S- so, so I need you to stop with that, Jiggly. Uh, it's, Damn. Not, it's not Serena Cha-Cha, so you guys still can come next week. <laughs> Shut up! No, I'm... <laughs> She's a fun girl. <laughs> Serena is... No, the- she is. She is a fun girl. Her drag is fun, too. Um, okay, so... I'm just Nash. kidding, guys. This is what you guys are here for and why you tune in. Don't fucking try it. Well, this is what we're here for. Yo, Hennessy's coming up. This is what you're here well, for. Before the Hennessy come, I, and before the night get to, uh, 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 I just want y'all to know that we we have two. Are you? Single? I'm sorry. Are you single? We're gonna start this show. We got to We try show. to figure out who. <laughs> she, she trying to start some shit right now. Let's see. We're, we're gonna save this for the next shit. segment. We're gonna save this okay. for the next segment. Uh, are we ready to watch this? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, Roscoe's Mikey. Let's go ahead and put that on. Damn. Oh, oh, okay. Bitch, you thirsty? I was bit. parched. A little bit. <laughs> so if you can bring me another. All right, all right. So let's get to the obvious question. Had you guys been on here, who would you guys be doing for your Super Bowl gig? Well, I was Missy Elliott, and I was supposed to be the opening to the Super Bowl. <laughs> oh, work. I only found out I was the opening because they played the track. And so I guess they wasn't expecting me to get eliminated neither. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> so I was still in there. Okay, sickening. And, and what did you... Th- I, so when we got the email of we were supposed to do this, my first choice was Missy Elliott also. And then she texted me. Then I got the email, it's taken Jiggly, you gotta find another one. So I chose Janet Jackson. Titty out and everything, bitch. So what was, I I mean, I know we're gonna see it, but what was the the challenge? You're just gonna perform, you were just supposed to perform? We were supposed to have the iconic look that they had for the Super Bowl, and... um, you gotta yeah, perform, perform and yeah. lip sync, yeah. and it's like it's this. This is the version of the musical. Yes, it's it's so like how they had like the Madonna challenge in season twelve. This is supposed to everybody get a snippet to go in and do their thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now let's ask uh, a more personal question. Both of you experience some of your friends obviously choosing your name, your <laughs> lipstick. So for G- Ginger, Ginger is a good friend of yours. Uh-huh. Or, or was. <laughs> no, no, no. No, she's wait, wait. But the reality is that she's your, your friend. Yeah, we're still, we're so, friends in and out of the competition. So I was like, uh, oh, okay. When I saw it, I was just like, oh, sh- shit. <laughs> she didn't call you and tell you? How? She was still in the competition, bitch. Afterwards. No, we spoke after. And we had I a told good- you. Yeah, you did. I was first thing I told. I said, girl, you told me if I go up against somebody that's more popular, don't get the hate. <laughs> so I actually went in and said, you told me not to get the, to get the hate, girl. I'm so sorry. The only but, thing they show was. I mean, I'm also a, I'm a grown woman. I can handle it. And I also have a career outside of the franchise. Period. Hello. So, I'm not, like Trinity said, this doesn't make or break you. I Don't had be a taking career. her advice first off. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, outside of the... I have been out, out of the franchise for 10 years. The last time I was on was season four, and I stepped away from the franchise. I do the tours, I do the gigs, but outside of that, I wanted to become an actress, and I feel like I've done that. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm not going to let some queens who want the same thing I want determine my fate. Because at the end of the day, 
Ginger, Silky, and the rest of them, they're not casting directors. The only like names that's important for me is Ryan Murphy's. <laughs> Period. So if he was Hello. picking my lipstick, then I would have been like, oh shit. Then. <laughs> but hey, I was like, I'm cool. It's all good. And as long as I'm working and cashing checks, I'm cool. That's that it. Was How about the you, Silky? Answer. Yeah. That that's the, the politically the correct politically answer. Politically correct answer. How many more do we need you to get uh, those so we can get another? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, no. Uh, I'm on how edibles, about you? I'm good. How about you, Silky? Tell me you. What, what were your thoughts seeing people pick your lipstick? Now, what Jiggly said is correct because when I decided to come back on, it was really because on season 11, every guest judge said I needed my own show, and that ha didn't happen for me. So when coming back, I was just like, mm, I'm, I was very hesitant. I said no a few times. But then I, I gave in, and going back, sitting there and choose my name, this is where it get, for me, hurtful, because you don't see a lot of things that happen there. And so for me, I had been very sisterly to a lot of the girls, and when they got this moment, they was so easy to throw me away. So, for example, in the Blue Ball Challenge, which you did not see, Trina D.K. Bonet had the bottom of her gown because I gave her all the materials. Yara Sophia had all the, the tinsels and the, the tools and all that on the top of her gown because I gave it to her. Kylie Sonique Love had her garment because I threaded her machine, helped her sew it, helped her get it together. So for those girls not to even consider me to stay or listen to what I had to say hurt my feelings. And it extra hurt my feelings because everybody but Jan had said week one that I should have won the talent show. So y'all consider, y'all. I'm in the bottom, you saying I'm in the bottom for the second time, but in reality, if you really judging about how you truly feel, that should have been my first time, right? And even though, you know, all the girls were saying that um, I played the different roles, they said I was different. So it was just kind of weird for me to like experience that. And for them not to listen to me, and it was just like, you out of here. And I said what I said about Jan. Jan sang with a track for the talent show, for clarity, because since she wanted to clarify that, she sang with a track. That's no shade, she sang with a track. Well, the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50%, she sang with a track. So I, technically, I was the only one that sang live because I didn't have a backing track to help me. Then week two, she said that she figured that the blue ball challenge was going to be blue, so she brought that blue corset from home, and she put all those funeral flowers on it. Not funeral flowers. You saw the, the dusty grays and the dusty blues. You know, around her, she put a whole funeral Can spray around her. we not mention the her. sewing challenge right now, bitch? Shit. Sister, you put in way more effort and should have stayed. Girl, I'm I I'm just have, saying, I was basing... I don't sew shit, bitch. I hand-stitched those little darts. But baby, what did you do? You did what? Hand-stitched. You did what? Hand-stitched. You, you did what? So... So my sister put in effort where other girls brought garments from their houses. So and I don't think it was fair. And in addition to that, my garment was stolen. And so when you see me talking about, oh, I got to put in a 25-minute mug, it ain't because I didn't put in the work. It was because my shit was stolen, and I had to make myself a new garment. So being on All Stars, my feelings was hurt because the girls witnessed everything that I experienced and still didn't consider me to stay. That's what hurt my feelings. And I don't give a fuck about it no more. I had to get that out of my spirit. And let me tell you why. Because, bitch, I have sold more on my website in the last seven days than I have in the last three years. Yeah. So you know what? Things happen for a reason. And you know what else, bitch? What else? Hashtag Silky is coming. Get ready, bitch. It may not be over. And on that note, wait, on, Mikey, uh -uh. wait, oh, wait, what? Oh. On that note, Nation would like Silky, a double Hennessy and lemonade. Oh, can, we, can we get Miss Dean a cocktail, I, please? Actually, Nasha, yes. who would you have done if you got to do All Stars? Yeah. What you, wait, what? Who would you have done for a halftime show? Oh, girl. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got to wrap this up. No, actually, the obvious hey, choice girl. is that you guys think I would do Jennifer Lopez. You guys would think I would do yeah. that, but I wouldn't. I actually would do Madonna. I uh, do Madonna. You Rico big ass did Madonna. I don't give two fucks, but what I could do, she can't do, boo. Ooh! On that note, throw that back on. Wait right a minute. Here. On that note, where's the server? It's coming, bitch. It's coming. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. They say I'm a drunk bitch, but I'm going to live the name up tonight. And if you're single and ready to mingle and you ain't scared of a fat bitch, I got an extra key right here to my room for you, okay? Okay, I, I, I like that Trinity is getting this, this attention, yes? Yeah. Yes? Girl, yes. if there was anybody that was going to do Beyonce on Drag Race, Trinity was the one to do it, bitch. And as a performer to watch Trinity do Beyonce, let, bitch... Like, there's a few girls, like, that's what Yada was talking about, what Shakira-isms that she was doing. Like, you have to know the icon you're doing. Like, bitch, I know the, the staccato that Janet Jackson has. I know shit. Like, bitch, oh, god damn it. <laughs> a fucking sewing challenge had to do me in. And then after I got eliminated, these motherfuckers get to do an improv challenge. Well, I got eliminated, bitch, so what you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Same boat, bitch. Same boat. Same okay, boat. no. Who who do you guys think is kind of uh, iffy on this challenge? Ginger for me because he done gave her a whole majorette challenge. That was what I was supposed to be doing. He done gave her my choreography, and she sits up there like, "Ooh, Jamal, you look like a butter biscuit." <laughs> Ooh, I want to eat you next to some gravy. And you know, girl, now for, Ginger can move, but she's still white. <laughs> You said it. Ah, bitch. You were thinking it. <laughs> so I'm like, that's just the same thing. Like when Serena was trying to do hip hop, I was like, aw, poor thing. Bendito. <laughs> when she did the salsa, she was like, she was getting it. But when that hip hop came, I said, oh, sis, five, six, several eights. Now, how do we feel about Jan and the Gaga? She's going to get it. Do you guys? She's going to get it. Oh, like, you think so? It's the choreography. I've seen, I, the thing is, like, so, like, we all, like, me and her live in New York, so I've seen her do Gaga, so I'm like, she's so obsessed with Lady Gaga that she follows it to the T. So I was like, girl, she did the halftime show, and she actually tried to jump off the stage. And I'm like, bitch, where you going? The stage is two feet. <laughs> like, where Maybe you she had a pillow down there. Girl, she thought she was gonna really going to jump. And I'm like, girl. But you should have let her jump, bitch, and I wouldn't have to deal with her on this season. <laughs> you should have been like, yes, girl, go for it. Go for gold, bitch. <laughs> but let me say, Sometimes you block your own blessing. <laughs> bitch, you, bitch, all of y'all pick my lipstick. Fuck all of y'all. <laughs> you told me to. I didn't think you were actually going to do it, bitch. <laughs> So clearly your relationship is great. Uh, <laughs> well, you let me tell you something. So wait, hold on. Before you get to that, I want to know about the relationships that you guys have with the cast members. Because it, it, once you guys watch it, it's like, I don't know. It could get a little iffy, maybe. Does it get iffy? Are you still cool with everyone? Is everyone all good and hunky cool. dory and all that? I don't let what I see on a television show determine how I feel about any of these girls. Because at the end of the day, I'm good. Jiggly thinks she's competing for Miss USA. No, bitch! She wants world peace. <laughs> she wants it's everybody to get Universe. along. Me, on the other hand, you know I'm quick to snap. And no, I don't bitch, mean all, to. Okay. I really don't mean to. I just need to get my frustration out in a moment and move on, you know. And somebody tell me I'm wrong or if I'm right, and then we move on. So my but relationship with everybody. I'm also way older than you. So for me, life okay, is... Okay, seven years, at, bitch. I look at life at a different point of view. I'm, That's at 40, lovely, girl. You but, have to let go of shit you cannot control. I cannot hold anything against anybody or what they do. That's fine, bitch. Because, it, again, it's not about the whole Miss USA, Miss Universe thing. For me, well, as long as you are not fucking with my money, we cool. Because if you fuck with my money, then I'm fucking you up. There's a just difference. Well, that's good for you, but I'm a black man in America. Life don't work that easy for me. So when I go off and I try to recollect myself, 
We good. But my relationship, I have a wonderful relationship with almost everybody. <laughs> okay. Y'all heard almost, right? I, I wasn't hearing things. I heard almost. I, I, you know, I have, a, I have, let me tell you something. What, for me in this television show, I have a wonderful professional relationship with all these girls. But I don't have a relationship where I would go eat crablets with all these bitches. And that's real. Some of y'all, do y'all go eat with your coworkers? No. Do you go hang out with your coworkers? No. But if you're in public, you see them, you say, <laughs> now, bitch, I'm just keeping it real. Now, she want world peace. I just want to live a happy life. And a happy life for me means that I'm going to smile at you. Mm. But if I got to go to HR on you, bitch, don't tempt me. And, bitch, if you catch me on the right day, if I'm ready to lose this motherfucking job, we'll lose it. That's why I have a I have a good working relationship with all the girls. But you know, y'all, I to be honest, you know my A squad will always be a Kiri and Roger. Like those girls are my heart. I know their mothers. I know I've been to their houses. I know where they live. Then I got my A minus squad. They almost A plus. You know, they just the A squad. And you know that's Jiggly, cause you know Jiggly is my girl. Every system up, she showed me a picture when we met each other last night. Don't you ever show that picture to nobody. <laughs> Bitch, I had just got off. Text it. It was horrible. But, you know, I got a good relationship with her. I have a wonderful relationship with Eureka. You know, like, that's my girl. Me and Eureka, Eureka's the only bitch that can make me eat. Like, I lost 30 pounds early in the year. And Eureka's the only bitch that'll what? get me to I lost 30 pounds. If I got some dick, maybe I lose five more. But you know, I lost 30 pounds, but Eureka is the only girl that could get me to eat everything. Like everything, eat without even thinking about it, you know, because I'm always conscious. When we, you know, traveling, I'll be like, Silky, get the Cobb salad. Get the Cobb salad. You ain't got to have a Philly cheesesteak, bitch. You ain't in Philadelphia. <laughs> but you know, um, so I have a wonderful relationship with her. And you know, uh, Pandora Bonds, you know, she's a wonderful girl. And who else I miss? I don't know. Why bitch. don't we just go through the list and see? Bitch. Um. So I'll go through oh, Akir Akiria. So you're part of your A crew, right? A plus or uh -huh. what? Akiria, Eureka, you love, yeah. Don't show that picture, bitch. Ginger Minch, you said yes. Yes, she's a part of the A squad. Oh, gorge, Jan. She's a part of a squad. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, let me tell y'all. Now I said what I said in my interviews about her. Let me tell you how life really changes. First of all, I can't say what I'm going to say without saying thank y'all for all the love that y'all have given me over Sent. this last week. Thank you for, you know, saying Silky was robbed. If you said it or not, thank you for seeing my vulnerability on television because that was real. You know, that was real for me. I live my life real and authentic. But when it comes to her, I love Jan. But when a white woman asks you to take up for her, honey, wow, how the tables have changed. <laughs> I wish that on season 11, some of the white girls took up for me the way they asking me to come all of a sudden. And, Please say something. I'm getting hate. So I, I did tell the people to stop giving her hate because she sang with a track. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and because she brought her blue corset from home. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, you know. Yeah, I love had I known we could have brought bitch, a blue dress, I should have just done that. Exactly, That's bitch. Had you known. You would have done the same. Like you would have got some. You would have got some tool and shit, some some vinyl and some shit, and be like, "Oh, I'm trying hard." Then the next morning, you just put that shit on the mannequin when nobody looking, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what she did. I'm not saying that she cheated, but I'm saying that <laughs> <laughs> she used the system for her event to her advantage, <laughs> like a lot of white ladies. So you know. <laughs> Oh, bitches. <laughs> but, but, you know, I don't mean to say that. I you see what you started? You, you know that's what I you meant, girl. I, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm not going to shade these girls because you know what? I came from a... a oh, a but you ain't going to do that while we halfway through the list, bitch. No, no. We're getting through this list, bitch. You ain't trying it. So next is Sonique. I love so Sonique love was her. the first... Let me tell you. When I Kylie. West, uh, Kylie. Sonique Love. She added. She didn't take away well, that's what she said when she walked in the damn room, bitch. <laughs> Kylie, um, you got female. I love her. 
Um, Kylie, let me tell you, Kylie had a real conversation with me before All Stars when I moved to West Hollywood, and she said, Silky. <laughs> Why are you doing that voice? What is this voice? Girl, girl? that's my Kylie voice. She said, Silky, girl. Um, <laughs> so when you going to come on over to this side? I said, what are you talking about, girl? Uh, Kylie's not the only one who just had that conversation with you. Well, most of the girls have that conversation with me. Uh -huh. To have the conversation, bitch. Because now they all quiet like, what the fuck? The girls want to know when I become official girl. Uh-huh. They always ask me that. And bitch, you are a hormone shot away from I don't being need hormones. I got cornbread. <laughs> you want to feel these titties? These titties are real, honey. But you know, Kylie... Kylie was the first girl that told me the boys see you as a woman in West Hollywood, so put trans on your grinder. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't believe her. So this one day I put, I'm trans. Bitch, I got 85 messages in 10 minutes. I said, wait a minute, what the fuck? You ain't really do think I'm a woman here. But, bitch, I had to let that life go, honey. Uh-uh. <laughs> it wasn't for me. But that dude came and mushed and crunched on my pussy for oh! me. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Bitch, he had mushed at 8 a.m. I said, don't you got a job or something? He had cake, bitch. I ain't had no makeup on. You know, I, I had my laser treatment. Bitch, this skin is flawless. Bitch, he had walked up in there. I had my basketball shorts on and my, my T-shirt that said Silk Milk. And he had come in. He was, he was ready. I said, oh my God, you're too eager for me. He said, come on, baby. I said, well, I'm not your baby. I'm a church lady. We're not supposed to be doing this. But, bitch, I had a wonderful time the next morning. And that was the probably the last time I got some two years ago. <laughs> bitch. B that's that, beyond a dry spell, bitch. That's a... I can't. That my pussy sounds... <laughs> that sounds lovely. Bitch, who got my phone? <laughs> bitch, it's right there. Am I sitting Are you on Grindr right, right now? Is that what it is? Um, we're we're going to get back to this list because I'm going to finish this list. Mikey, let's I put this show back on. I don't want to do that list on. no more. We're going to finish this list, I love list, everybody and everybody uh -huh. loves me. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> yes. That that was yes. a good challenge. That was a good... I enjoyed yeah. that. I yeah? enjoyed that. It's creative. Yeah, it was good. Who who were your standouts and favorites? Oh, girl, for me, definitely Trinity. 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 I ain't no hater. Trinity. Period. Girl, period. That's it. Period. And you know what? I like the male roles, so Kylie and Akira did yeah. it for me, too. Let me tell you, uh, Roger O'Hara gave you Diana Ross. She did, yeah. yes. Down, like from the looks to the eyes, like gazing on her eyes. The little isms is what her grinder's popping. That is not my grinder. <laughs> Carol, Pandora. That was That's okay. funny. That's like the funny. <laughs> It's fun, but <laughs> you motherfuckers, <laughs> every week, it was just okay. no matter how good Pandora does, crickets here. <laughs> no matter how good, she could slay a challenge. I'm like, how was Pandora? <laughs> Thank you. She Thank was you, good. guys. Give her her credit. She was good. Y'all yes? got to respect your elders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Well, she, <laughs> she, well, that's kind of shady. She's oh, been good. She's been good. Yeah. yeah. Just good. She's been Gigi good, not Gigi great. <laughs> oh. Girl. I, bitch, I, I said what I said. I All like right, Gigi well, good. Trust, we're enjoying what you're saying. We're, we're enjoying bitch, what you're saying. I, look, I, I, let me tell y'all something. I said all out of love. Because these are my motherfucking sisters. Now, I could talk about you bitches, but don't nobody do it. <laughs> now, Detox, they talked about how you was in that, out there on that alleyway one time. And I had told them. Which one? Exactly. I said, don't you talk about my sisters. Because that alley's going to be named after her one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. You know. It's like, Thank Stop. you, baby. Oh, my God. You're a little late, you know, but you know. Maybe you guys um, should do some shots. Should they do some shots, maybe? Sure. May I have yeah, a Vegas can we, bomb? Can we get them some tequila shots? May I have a Vegas bomb? Oh, she wants a Vegas bomb? Wait. What's the Vegas to chase down the Vegas tequila. Vegas bomb, Crown Royal, Peach Schnapps, and uh, uh, Red Bull. Pero, pero para mí no. A mí you no can me have one. Just one. You're with me. Es para ellos. A mí no. Yo no estoy tomando. 
Yes. Oh what? no, I was saying how gorgeous you guys look. Um, okay, <laughs> so Nay, I'm mad at you. <laughs> Let me Why? air my grievance with you. Oh no. Uh, Mike, let's go ahead and throw this. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all know when I competed for Continental, I was the reigning Miss Continental, uh, Latina Continental Plus? You the one that judged me, bitch. You don't remember that? But That's this why was I with, have agreements with you. But this was with Miss Kitty, yes? No, I was with Janet. Oh, this Rest was after. Soul. This was after Kitty passed. And then yeah, this is when I got second out today. Gotcha, gotcha. Which... You were absolutely amazing. I have you guys ever it. watched her talent for Miss Continental Plus? Let me Thanks. tell you, you guys have to see this talent if you haven't seen it. She performed to the second she got off that stage and made it through the audience. It's so good. It's one of well, my th favorite things of you. You know what's going to be better? The next time you win, it, I'm competing, competing win. for Continental Plus this September. Wait, this September? This, this September on Sunday, I will be performing, competing, and I will be get crowned at the Vic Theater down the so, street. So guess what? Uh, Silky and I will be reigning together because I'm competing for actually Mr. Mr. Continental. Continental. <laughs> I, I compete on Saturday and Silky competes on, on Sunday. Sunday. And Jiggly competes on Friday. She's doing Continental Elite. Which, <laughs> which is 40, 40 years and up, if you guys didn't know. She's not 40 yet. Bitch, I am 41. I'm good. She's 41, uh, boo. Uh, no. It's okay. Hello. She, I don't give a shit, bitch. I am 41, bitch. But guess what? This game. You yes! got to yes! yeah, about so <laughs> My yes. sister look good, bitch. Yes. You know, the blacks don't crack and the Asians Asian don't. Asian no raisin. Period. Yeah. <laughs> Period, bitch. I love that. <laughs> I love so you know that. what? You know what? But I'm excited to compete again. I know yes. that people are like, you were just on All Stars. Why would you compete for Continental? And everything that I presented to RuPaul's Drag Race came from Continental. And I feel like coming back and going to Continental with a six-month reign, I'd be able to give them a little bit of what they gave me. And so that's why I'm going back to... Oh, shit. What's uh -huh. this, my Vegas bomb? Fuck. Okay, thank you, baby. <laughs> you know, I, I got the look, baby. Let me tell y'all something. I may be blind, but I can see the color of the liquors. Uh -uh, I'm not going to drink that, but okay. Huh, huh sister? Y'all make right, some noise right. for my drag sister, CJ Star. Oh. Oh. Well, bitch, come get this shot. They don't know you the end. You get well, your ass well, up. Let's clap for CJ. Let me tell you something. Our drag mama was hell. Our drag mama used to make us drink a bottle of uh, vodka every day and practice in the front oh. yard, evening gown and shit. Your, your drag mama used to make you do I'm for real. We used to drink a bottle of vodka every day, cook dinner as a family, and then we would practice evening gown in the yard or talent in the yard. We would practice something every day. And I'm grateful for that because it made me who I am today. So Sounds like real family shit. Yes, I it, live. No, that was torture, bitch. <laughs> they say, get your fat ass out there and do your talent. And I'd be like, I'm tired. <laughs> They'd be like, do your split again. All right, ladies. If you got a drink in front of you, go ahead and raise your glass. All right, you lovely ladies, may your worst days be behind you and your best be ahead of you. Cheers! Can I say one thing? Yeah, go for it. I just want to say this one thing. A curious outfit alone should have saved her from the bottom. Bitch. Look, let me tell no. you something. I think it's just fucked up that these judges are giving these bullshit ass critiques. Because did we watch the same Super Bowl? Akira was sinking in the Super Bowl. And then she came out with that whole outfit made by Joshua Aponte of Chicago, bitch. And she has shut the motherfucking building down. So shout out to Joshua Aponte of Chicago. Shout out to my girl Akira. She should never even been in the bottom. I just like, damn, I think the, they're racist. <laughs> They have seen four girls of color home back to back to back. I'm just kidding. Oh my God, they did say, they said home the Latin girl, the Asian girl, the black, the black girl, and then the Latin girl, all bitch in one swipe. Sorry. God damn. <laughs> Next week, they better send somebody a white home where I'm saying no justice, no peace. Oh no justice, God. no peace. <laughs> bitch, I'm, just, I'm for real, bitch. There's four bitches in a row. And you know what? Y'all say four. But it's really six, because me and Jiggly count as two people each. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, oh, you lost your person. I forgot. You lost weight. <laughs> I lost the baby, 30 pounds. So, you know. Mm -hmm. 
But I, I just don't think that that was fair. I, just from the bottom of my heart. I ain't trying to be all rotted, crazy, drunk and silky. I'm not drunk yet, bitch. So let me ask you this. If, if you don't think she should have been in the bottom, who would you put in her place? Who was in the bottom three? Because I would have put Ginger. Oh, I thought y'all were said Jiggly. I was yeah. like, wait, I wasn't in there. Was I think I would have put Ginger. Do you? I would have put have Ginger put? there. Um, I don't. <laughs> Pandora. <laughs> what did she do to y'all? Pandora gave what she gave, and you know it worked for her. <laughs> this okay. now you know I'm not a hater, so I want this to be said for the record. I think TKB should have won. No. I, I'm not a hater. Let me tell you something. When good drag is good drag, I, I don't mind applying it. Now, she may have borrowed that outfit, but you know what? She should have worn in that borrowed outfit. Well, the only thing, the only problem is that my, this was my issue with Trinity, is that that, that gown, that gown didn't work at Miss Continental. It, it wasn't going to work on that runway, boo. Sorry. That's the rea That's not shade. That's the reality. If it's it didn't work once, what the fuck makes you think it's going to work a but second time? Jan didn't go, go with the Jan, category neither. Jan, but Jan... Jan was good. It was sickening, but it was frills. Yeah, it was. Oh, frills was is frills. light and dainty. What was dainty about that? No, no, no. The the whole uh, no, it was. Oh, it I was. ain't buying I would it. Say this, like, are you guys buying it? Did you guys? Bitch, like if she was Jan? a legendary, it would have been a. Uh, I like Jan actually. I okay. When I, I, I let you have her this week. I think she was the most consistent. She had a good outfit and she performed yeah. well. Trinity. A good outfit? Trinity. What'd you say? Just a good outfit. Okay, we'll take it. No, I, I like the outfit. Trinity's performance was the best one, but the dress was no good. It was a it no, was no good. It was in already in the closet. At least I think. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, you girl. know what? I, I get you on that. I get you on that because they didn't buy that gown at Continental. We didn't either in the audience. <laughs> you see what I mean? We didn't that. buy that. You know, it gave her nobody, no shape, no nothing. It's no shape. I but will you know, tell you this. Like, the one thing about All Stars that, for me, sucked. I'm a very proud woman. I'm not the bitch that begs for anything. I work hard for everything I've fucking done. So for me to have to plead my case to coworkers, it was it killed me. And that's why I was so upset that I walked away. Because I was like, and the song was Miss You Much. Which is in my motherfucking wheelhouse. So for me, had that been a lip sync for your life, I'm sorry, Yara. Your ass would have been home. Your ass would have been back in Vegas or Puerto Rico, bitch. Because I was not losing that lip sync. So for me to have to beg, not, not just, it felt like begging. But to plead my case to like all the girls that have worked just like me. And bitch, but I think that's the, the problem with this particular All Star season. It's the same problem we had on season eleven. There are so many bitches that sometimes you can't say what you want to say or get it. Like when I did my elimination, I was saying what I wanted to say. I said most of y'all thought I should have been in the top week one, but all that went through one ear and went out the other. It seemed like these girls already have in their mind where it should go. And yeah. if you're not going, I feel like they already feel like the top. And this just honestly speaking, like being there, everybody say the top should be a fat girl, a trans girl. Like they already doing like these demographics. So like it's almost like if you ain't fit into that mold, like we gonna have a fat bitch, but that fat bitch gonna be Ginger or Eureka, or we gonna have a trans girl, but that trans girl is gonna be Kylie, or we gonna have. The, it felt very much yeah, like that and for me. I was just like, bitch. I'm the only Rue girl with a fucking recurring role in a scripted series. How the fuck am I begging any of these hoes that don't even have my resume? Are you fucking kidding me? I was, that is what got me. And I was just, and that's why I was, that's not, real. it's not, no shade to any of the girls. We all do our own thing. But for me, some of us work harder. It, yes. Some of us. Does it feel and like? Not, does it really feel said, like that though? Does I'm it really never, feel like no, you guys are begging? No, I've never. It I've does never feel been like one that. of the faves. That's why most of the season, my face is like doing like the critique. Like I was like a kid. I'm going home. Ain't nothing you can say about it. I, I tried to plead my case to these bitches, and these bitches are just looking at me like I don't give a fuck. And these are the same bitches that want an opportunity just like me. But you know what? Let me, let me tell you what's, what's real tea. When you're a trans girl on the show or when you're a girl of color on the show, you work 10 times harder 18 times. than any of these girls. Trixie could fart and people would fucking go nuts. If any of us 
breed the wrong way, we are destroyed on social media. We are. So for me, when to see the girls who people's faves are, and I'm just like, only one or two colored girls are getting the attention when we work so hard to be the queens that people want us to be like. We represent ourselves truthfully, unapologetically, wholeheartedly, not just for us, but for anybody else. I know my representation this season. It wasn't just for the little fucking brown kids out there. It's for the little trans kids that watch the show. It's for every fucking Asian kid that never gets the light of day on, on, on media. So for me, it, was, it just broke my heart to watch some girls get so much more attention when they don't deserve it and they're not gonna do anything with the platform. Exactly. And then, then they do a lip sync this with Tarek. This is why I don't drink. I hate y'all. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I want you, Jiggly, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, and I said this on a show and I can say this any day. I, Jiggly, there was a casting call for Pose before COVID and Jiggly made me and Akira come to it and we actually got a call back. And we were supposed to film on March 15th and 16th, but then COVID had everything shut down. So Jiggly, I want to say without a shadow of a doubt, the things that you do goes beyond just brown kids and trans girls. You are inspiring girls just like me. I, when I walked into that, you, you prepped me for that motherfucking audition. And I walked in that audition like they don't want a girl like me. They want some more more established. They want some more more polished. And you said, no, girl, you go in there and you put in your time and your effort and they going to see you. And they did see me. Now, unfortunately, COVID happened. I wasn't on the show. But at the same time, I want you to know that you are loved and you give me love each time. And I want you to know, in addition, that was my one compliment for you this year and you're not getting another. <laughs> but what but, but Jiggly say is real. Like some of us work hard. Bitch, y'all don't even know the half of the hell that I went through. There was a campaign here in Chicago that said Silky is not a Chicago queen on season 11. There was a campaign against me. Silky did this, and I wasn't even in town because, you know, World of Wonder would investigate, and if I've done anything, they would share pie in my ass. They would take me off from what you call it. So they investigated everything. But you know what? There was people that campaigned against me. I competed on the finale, and the cameraman put out that one-minute video of me losing my wig on here. What was the rest of it when I twirled up twice and landed into a split, you know? Where's the good stuff, you know? But you know, it's hard being here in front of you guys. My outfit today that I was supposed to wear, um, the zipper bus and the bee started ripping off, and so I had to put on my fashion over jumpsuit. So I was scared. <laughs> You know, like, I'm up here scared, like, these ace, people are not going to accept me. Right. They're going to say, where's the elevation in Silky, you know? And I paid good money, and I paid $60 to have that bitch in an in a Uber all the way back to my hotel, you know, from the designer. But, you know, I want you to know that we really do put in the work. I know me. I ain't got to be your favorite. It's okay, because, bitch... My whole life, I worked in corporate America. I wasn't people's favorite. I've been a, a dance instructor. I wasn't their favorite. I went to college three times, and I wasn't their favorite. But, bitch, guess what? At the end of the day, I got my degrees. I got a successful career, and I'm still standing in front of you, bitch. So I want you guys to know, thank you from the bottom of my heart, because, you know, I have lived a hellish life. And RuPaul Drag Race, I thought I was going to lose it all, because, bitch, these bitches are crazy. But I want you to know what, I, I just want to thank you and please buy my book, Cocktails for Queens. <laughs> Cocktails for a Queen. They got Jiggly Caliente in there. What page you want, Jiggly? Please buy the book. <laughs> it's already signed. I'm already prepared, bitch. Thank you now, for supporting the black take out that coin, bitch. Take out that coin. Thank you. And if you want to give more than $40, the, uh, uh, detox, bitch. She, girl, stop. She is trying to build her mansion. You leave her alone. Girl, Let you... me tell you something. <laughs> but you know what? I, I like the uh, kid with... Give me $200 for it. Come here. $200. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that cash went right under her titty. Wait. $80. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. 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 Yeah, you keep that for you. 
How they go two more? Yes, detox. You, you, you get, get one a more for book good luck. One more for good luck. You get a cookbook, and you get a cookbook. Oh, bitch! You just slapped his ass with that. And y'all, I just want to say, bitch, you de- good? <laughs> detox. Give, give me your hand, bitch. Come here. Truly, thank you, and that warms my heart. Because I am a black girl, and people don't support me. They look over my shit. And you just pulled out $200. Now, that may have been your light bill money. <laughs> but if it is, bitch, because you supported me, I'm going to get in that alley with you that they're going to name after you. <laughs> and we're going to get our money, bitch. My pussy good, bitch. Ain't, ain't nobody been in it in two years, girl. I know it got some cobwebs on it, but once you dust it off, bitch, uh-uh, it's brand no, new. Bitch. Uh-uh. Silky, it's 2021, bitch. Get on arrows, bitch. Shit. Not the arrows. Not, bitch, you just aged yourself, boots. Not the arrows. Bitch, what? The arrows? Bitch. Do y'all know what arrows is? That's for the girls, baby. Hey, y'all look, know what ain't no is. shame in my game, bitch. I was on Craigslist, I was on Backpage, and I was on arrows. No shame, bitch. Lay so now y'all, y'all know what arrows is. <laughs> she was the reason they closed down Backpage. I'm telling you, bitch. She was on there. Let me tell you. Well, I just was. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! We su- RuPaul Drag Race girls are either a whore or drunk or both. I swear. I have not met them. And that's why I don't like the season 11 girl. Um, excuse, 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 excuse me. Season 12 girls. Because most of them don't drink. If a bitch don't drink, you can't trust her. <laughs> Especially if you're going to hang around me, bitch. Because I, I get drunk and I may slip up and say some shit. I, that's really? why hashtag Silky is coming, bitch. Yeah. Don't count me out yet, bitch. Speaking of who's coming, next week... Who coming, girl? She just she just got eliminated. Oh, we I- got Jada Sophia next week. <laughs> Woo! And we have another Chicago queen next week. We have... N- no. No, no, no. Not, not Denali. We- I'm going to teach her how to duck it's gonna, it, Someone with better makeup skills. <laughs> Wait! Not because I'm reading Denali, but because this next person is that talented. Wait a minute, so Kim Denali. Kim G! Wait, wait Y'all a thought I was reading, bitch. Y'all thought I was reading. Now tell no, me I'm wrong. That is tell a, me I'm wrong, bitch. No, that was a read, bitch. Yeah, no, it was not. That talented? It was not a wait, read. You uh, know Kim Chi don't she, fuck wait, around. she's talented in makeup, right? That's what I said. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I said. I thought you was meaning like on the it, stage or something. I was going to say, bitch, that's a read. <laughs> I said makeup, Yeah, honey. she's good at makeup. I said makeup. But baby. <laughs> twirl what? <laughs> baby, let me tell you something. Half the girls in this franchise, you put me and them on the stage and let's really get it. Now, you bitches say no scrub. Now, bitch, when I was doing no scrub, I thought I was out of there. My mind, when he, I was like, bitch, I'm going home no matter what. But, bitch, that tell you how bad of a bitch you is. On your worst day, you can send somebody home. But that's okay, bitch. You'll be able to see hashtag Silky is coming. What this is? Hennessy uh, and Cram, put, pour a little bit on top of there. Yeah. <laughs> So next week, Thank ladies you, and gentlemen, we got kimchi. Wait, I got something and, else to oh, say. Oh, what, what's up? What's good? You said kimchi and... And Jada. Anybody else coming? No, just Jada and um, Kim next week. And I also want to say... <laughs> <laughs> you leave kimchi alone, bitch. You need my Asian sisters alone. Girl, I'm not saying nothing about her because you know what? I don't want her family to come give me hate because I have... Let me tell y'all something. What really has touched my heart... Since the announcement of RuPaul's Drag Race, I have only gotten eight hate messages. Eight! That, bitch, could you believe it? Clap it's your hands for that, minutes. yes. I have gotten eight. <laughs> bitch, I used to get eight in five minutes, bitch. Silky, you a fat bitch. Silky, you a cunt. Silky, you... That bitch. was from me. <laughs> that sounds right. Oh, All right, guys. Wait, we, wait, gotta we, gotta wrap oh. the, we gotta wrap this up, guys, because we, we still got some show. Wait we a minute. S- could y'all do me a favor, though? What? Could everybody do me a favor? Cause bitch, they you know they do paying they paying me a coin, bitch. Could you make sure y'all get another cocktail since I don't talk so much? 
Please get another cocktail for your bartender and make sure you tip them well because if you don't, we're going to whoop your ass, bitch. And oh my God. what you drinking, ho? What am I drinking? Oh, uh, this concoction that they made for me. It took and me. if you go to the bar and say, can I get a drink for Nasha? They're going to know what she drink. Yes. And if you get me a drink, it's going to be a double Hennessy and lemonade. And if you get um, her a drink, get her a Shirley Temple. <laughs> now, my sister over here may not drink, but she do smoke. And if you got an edible, bring it up here. <laughs> On that note, we have to get to Untucked because we have to wrap this shit up. So let's watch Untucked now. Uh, really in between, got to watch it. Untucked, in between man, commercials, horrible. in between commercials, we're gonna take questions from you guys. So guys, get some questions ready for Jiggly and Silky and Mike. Let's go ahead and uh, watch that Untucked. Wee, wee, All wee. right. Jiggly. Are we doing okay? Are we still having a good time? Yes. Gorgeous. Are we drinking and snacking and all that good stuff? Yes? Gorge. So we're going to take some questions from the audience. Does anyone have um, any questions over here? We're going to do a couple of them. Let's come right over here. Pardon me. Excuse me. All right, baby. What's your name and question? Chris, hi. I love y'all. Thank y'all for everything. No, thank you, boo. I appreciate you, boo. it. I love y'all. You look beautiful. I watch the YouTubes. So I'm currently going through a heartbreak, and it's like my first... Heartbreak, yeah, he playing me, y'all. He doing me dirty. And I'm letting him because I'm so in love. Here, but I need, no, he's not here, bitch. I wish. Because I would have put his ass on glass, bitch. But what I'm saying is, I need help to get over it. Because, like, I'll help you get over it. Nope. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, what's your question? Go for it. I'm just fucking with you. Go ahead. If you have any advice, because, like, it's hard as fuck. Because, like, you know, in the gay community, if you dating a motherfucker for 10 minutes, it's like 10 years. No, uh -uh. So I'm really lost. Let me like, ask you, what you do for a living? I'm a, I'm a student. I'm a broadcast major. And when you graduate? This December. So what your focus it should be on is your degree. Yes, it is. And making sure. Let me tell you something. I'm silky motherfucking ganache, and I'm 31 year old. I used to feel bad because I'm a Southern girl, but born and raised in Mississippi. I thought I should be married with kids right now. And when I realized two years ago that, bitch, you can buy your own house. You a black bitch with a 720 credit score. Fuck everybody. Get what you want and then let them come to you. Fuck him. Now, if the dick is good, you see him on Tuesday and Thursday. But fuck him. Stop. Y'all, we done went through a fucking pandemic and y'all ass still doing the same bullshit. Uh, Erase, replace, embrace, new face. Okay, we got, we got a, it's it's hard. Just a new one. Just get a new one. Fuck them emotion bullshit. Bitch, we on the up and up. If he can't uh, get you a PP loan, PPP loan, fuck him. Have you he got, gotten you a PPP loan? You Have he taken you to Mexico? No <laughs> Have he done all of that? Oh, he did. Then, he bitch, did. you got to put up with some shit. He does everything he, does everything he said. Well, guess what, bitch? Uh, if you lay with dogs, you will get fleas. Oh, my God, silky. So, baby, you like fleas or you want an antibacterial? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got another question, guys. Hi. Uh, Nathan, and my question is for Silky. Oh, Lord. <laughs> how, how many years did you take piano lessons, and how often do you play nowadays? Do you still play? Thank you for that question. I never took piano lessons. I was raised in the black church, black churches. Growing up, you was going to sing in a choir, you was going to play drums, you was going to do something, or you going to get your ass beat. So a lot of Sundays, I got my ass beat, and I play uh, piano from probably the age of eight until now. I don't play as much as I should because I'm always traveling. But bitch, because of copyright, I couldn't play anything. So like, it was a lot of stuff I couldn't play. So when we was on there, why they say my piano skills are so good because I was playing everything. But I was forced to do that um, talent show. I was supposed to decorate a cake in a minute and I got there and they said, bitch, that ain't gonna work. And so since it didn't work, I was forced to do that. And I don't regret it because it just, because next week I'm going to meet with a, a four-time Grammy award-winning producer that wrote me and said, bitch, there's a talent there and you need to come out with a gospel album. 
So, if, you know what? If I need to come out with a gospel album and you told me to come to L.A. and I ain't got to pay shit and you going to meet with me, bitch, I'm going. Hello. So, this is the year for specifically for you. This is the year for growth. This is the year for reinvention. This is the year for rebranding. This is the year to get your shit together. This is the year to not go back what they put on you on season 11, but to move forward. So if you not gonna move forward with your year, stay where you at, sus. Yeah. Cause sus, I, I'm good. moving forward, and I'm trying to buy a house. And if a man ain't got no good dick and a good credit, he ain't moving in with me. <laughs> Alyssa Edwards taught me that, bitch. <laughs> All right, we have another question for both of you guys. Okay, so who would you both be most afraid to lip sync? Like, who would you be most afraid for the lip sync assassin to be? For me? Against me? Bo both of you guys. If, if... Wait, if you guys had a lip sync assassin, who would you be like, oh, fuck, really? Like, this is who I got a lip sync against? Who? I think the most notorious lip sync assassin on the show would be Alyssa Edwards, right? Okay, no, look, no, I I'm going to stop really quick before, because this is, and I hold this dear in my heart because this is my sister, but a lip sync assassin, lip sync assassin is Dita motherfucking Ritz. And she has, you can go Google it, she has one of the most iconic lip syncs. How many does she have? That one, that one. Dina, how many, okay. no, was it just that? Was it? It's just that one, baby. Sit no, down. no, wait, wait, wait. No, no, bitch. Oh, no, no, uh -uh. no. no. Uh -uh. It wasn't. No, because she didn't go home. is my season four sister, and I watched that bitch murder the princess on, like. She murdered that one, but what else did she wait, murder? Hold up. No, on top of that, to this day, that is still RuPaul's favorite lip sync ever. It is. So Dita, and she did it. In I front would of be us. afraid to go against Dita. I wouldn't be afraid. That what? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, no, I, no, no, no. That's my Chicago sister. Yeah. So shout out to Dita Ritz. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. But go I wouldn't be Dita. scared of her. No lip sync. So who? Let would me you tell be? you, bitch. I'm gonna be honest with you. Who would you be scared of? Bitch, let me get my mind together. Cause bitch, y'all just remember me from no scrub. Y'all forgot they robbed me on Bootylicious, bitch. You oh, forgot yeah. they let a, a white bitch come in with some ballet shoes and say she's the winner just because they wanted her to be the host of Drag Race Canada. Oh, bitch, I ate her up. That's why she cried when they said her name. I so bitch, when it comes to lip syncing, I, bitch, that's the one thing Shut we- up, let me say Say what you want to say, bitch, because you look like a baked potato and you lip sync beautifully. I will say this. No, but she did eat I'm that not, up, though. I'm, like, I'm not afraid of anyone because I, I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any bitch, but I will say this. It depends on the kind of song. Like, if they're giving me, like, a sexy song, I think I could kill any of these hoes, but if it's, like, a dance song, I would not want to go up against Laganja, Bitch. Let me tell you something. See, I'm the complete opposite. I can dance, but fuck. I can't do all that, bitch. See, I'm the complete opposite. The reason why I chose Brooklyn Heights and my lip sync is because I wanted a challenge. If you're not going to challenge yourself and push yourself to higher heights, why do it? So there's not one bitch in the franchise that I'm scared of. Had LaGrange came through that door and I had to lip sync against her. Let me tell you, I would have said, oh, silky bitch. You may be fat, but in your mind, you a size two. You got to believe that right now, bitch. You got to believe that right now. So I ain't scared of nothing. Uh, no. Bring the bitches on. I don't want to interrupt you, but we still have to finish this damn untucked. Wait, so wait, let's me, finish. Hold on, way. hold on. Black Lives Matter, my sister had her hand up. Oh, no, no. We're still doing more questions. We're doing more questions, but we got to get through this show because if not, we will be here forever because Miss Thing loves to talk. <laughs> Bitch, when y'all booked me, y'all knew I loved to talk. Y'all should have just booked one girl instead of her. Oh, well, Mary. Girl. All right, all right, all right. Let's do another round of questions. I have one right here. Um, I was going to ask, um, aside from yourself, who do you think should win All-Star 6 based on what you've seen throughout the season? And Roger B. D. O'Hara. Okay. What let about me, Jiggly? I, and... I, Oh, you don't want to know why? Yeah, I wanna know oh, okay. Big D, as in Davenport. Big D, Big D Dallas. 
And her drink in my cocktail book is called the Big D. <laughs> I'm not answering that. I want, no, for me, um, whoever's going to do something really good with it and who's going to represent for the, the franchise correctly. I don't, like, all, like... Uh, represent for the franchise? Who's Look going at to, their winners. Who's going to do the platform correctly? So who's who going to give it justice? I don't know. Whoever, which one of these girls are going to oh, actually do girl, something? Oh, girl, here you go with them pageant answers. <laughs> <laughs> we got Again. another question. We got another question. I'm going to say... Okay, Rock fine. One of the fat girls. I want one of the fat girls to win. You should win because you fat. You should win because you slayed. And I think Roger bit the O'Hara. And I'm going to say she should win because y'all may not know this and I may be spilling a little bit of her tea. Roger took $600 and made everything that you see on the runways. $600. That is talent alone. So I say Roger bit the O'Hara. And not only because of that, but just like me, but because the way she was treated on season 11. Roger has come back. She has rebuilt herself. She is showing you a different side. And Roger has been in the top the entire competition. What more do you want? This bitch should have worn week one sewing a dress and putting it on within a minute. It ain't no more talent, bitch. I, I'm, I'm tired that we are just giving people, you know, the crown because they are the fan favorite or they're getting the crown because, you know, RuPaul laughed at them, jiggled them titties. I think that we need to start giving the crown to people that are true talents. She do deserve it because that bitch came from Dallas. I see myself in that bitch. I'm a black bitch that don't know. Bitch, drag has truly saved my life. I didn't know what I was going to do because, bitch, I had got tired of corporate America at one point. Bitch, I was wearing people out in corporate America. Bitch, I got fired from my last job before I moved here to Chicago. Well, bitch, let me tell you something. When you look at some of these girls, y'all need to look at their true stories. And Roger O'Hara is really that girl, a girl that sews for herself, a girl that styles hair for herself. And I'm, fuck it, I'm done. Roger. So Raja, yes, answer is Raja. <laughs> I'm just going, because I can go on and on and on. Or a Kira oh, Chanel Davenport, okay. because look, <laughs> bitch, the judges didn't give her what she deserved tonight. And I would say that honestly from my heart. Akira didn't get what did she, she deserved from them judges tonight. But I would give my, I would lift my sister up. A, she, Akira should have been praised for that outfit alone. Yeah. No, for sure. For sure. We got another question. Hey, and I'm not a drunk oh. bitch. I just want y'all to know. <laughs> I'm not drunk. I'm really not drunk. Because bitch, y'all don't know me. But bitch, Cindy, I get, we got questions. To I get know through. you get questions, but I want you to know that I get passionate about this shit when I talk about my sisters. <laughs> and you one of my sisters that I get passionate about too. And they should, um I'm just playing. I, tell you, I get passionate about you too. But this is just real talk. This is me being real, bitch. You want you want a fake bitch or you want a real bitch? Well, thank you. This is the real silky. Some people deserve their flowers. We done gone through coronavirus. People have died, bitch. But I, I've chosen to live my life every day like it's my last motherfucking day. And if I'm going to do that, I have to stand for it and stand strong in my beliefs. And Roger O'Hara need her flowers. And Akira should have got her flowers tonight. And they shaded her. All right. Stop egging her on, motherfucker. She Shut was up. a flower. Shut up. She Stop was egging her a flower. Oh, my God. And you're absolutely right. And you're right. Now shut the fuck up. Uh, now we have another question here. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> my question is for uh, Jiggly. So um, I know you were arguing. You were on. I mean, honestly, the best one of the best seasons of Drag Race for sure. But it was. Exactly, but it was it was a while ago. So how was it, you know, now coming back so many years later? Were you intimidated by how much it changed, like how much Drag Race has evolved or changed, or was it just like oh, whatever? I wasn't intimidated by the the growth of the franchise, but I was really excited to come back because I was going to get to compete completely myself. I didn't have anything holding me back. I didn't have any baggages that I didn't unpack. Because watching myself on season four, there were so many things that 
I gone through right before I got on the show that I didn't think I needed to check myself on until I watched myself. I was very insecure in my transition. I, re I When I competed in season four, I just started my transition. So I wasn't ready to be out as female presenting because I didn't want the scrutiny of the world. And then dealing with my mom's death, dealing with, I literally quit, not, well not quit, but like I did my last client two days before getting on a plane to drag race. So being a former sex worker and then jumping into this world of not knowing how people are going to perceive me and how I'm just going to be judged, it was a lot. So getting back and competing in All Star 6, I was completely myself. I was, I'm more of the woman that I'm supposed to be. I'm... Yes. And you, like, I walked, I literally, you could see, like, I walked in, bitch, I was also, bitch, I had on the most expensive fucking things in the fucking, when I walked in. I had on Yves Saint Laurent shoes, a Versace cup, Bergari necklace, and earrings. Bitch, these hoes didn't even have human hair on. I was like, <laughs> but my hair is oh, human tonight, go. bitch. Tonight. Here we go. So, for me, I was like, I was walking in knowing I'm that bitch. And nothing was gonna get in my way till the sewing challenge. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I feel red by that. That bitch said, ain't nobody got what I got. <laughs> bitch, they don't make E. Say Laurent in my size. That's why I wear uh, E. Say Laurent Couture perfume. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Jiggly, we have another question for you over here. Sure. So, you already what answered you the question of like, when you were on your season, you've come up and you've really developed and changed so much. So, out of all your season, which outfit would you revamp if they had a challenge of like, ooh, what would? Oh, you my say? redemption was the post-apocalyptic, oh. bitch. I was, I was, and I was so gutted I didn't get to wear it. There was so when I so Raja only spent it, bitch. I emptied out my fucking Ryan Murphy checks to do this <laughs> shit, bitch. I was like, okay, but yeah, the that was definitely my redemption was gonna be. My post-apocalyptic. It's on my Instagram. To piggy, uh, piggy to piggyback off that, did they? Uh, Why they, you gotta be piggy? They. Oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, I cannot. She so said they shame. told us that. Uh, I just want to confirm. They told us that they told you guys which redemption you had to wear. Was that correct? That you guys did not get to choose which redemption one you were gonna do. Right? If you believe it, it may be true. No. Well, one of the. It was one of the girls from your... From Bitch, you think I'm going to answer this asking. and they record this shit so they can get my ass? Yeah. Oh, so gotcha. Okay, if you yeah, believe yeah. it, it may be true. Gotcha. Yes. Contractual. Bitch, let me tell you, bitch. <laughs> I was getting a whole new roach made, bitch. I wasn't even going to walk down the runway. I was going to crawl the whole time, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and bitch, they told me, oh, you got to do that. Okay. Gotcha. All right, we got... We have two more questions. Uh, I mean, another question for the both of you. You got to do three because my dress sister raised her hand, well, too. I'm going to answer first because this one talks too much. Fuck you. <laughs> so this is for Y'all knew I talked too much when I lived here, bitch. Y'all can't even eat your dread brunch. Well, we're not going to get to any of y'all if y'all don't shut the fuck up for a second. <laughs> oh, that's how we do with Shakira. W were there any moments from this season that were cut that you wish aired? Oh, Ooh, I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's a good oh. one. That's a good one. You want to answer first? You want me to answer first? I answer oh, first. I like this one. So, I hope you're saying what I think you're going to say. So for me, so on the episode of the Ball Challenge, me and Akira were play fighting all day. We were just reading the dog shit. out of. I'm talking, we were going for the jugular. It was so vicious. It was like two, three hours long that we were just going back and forth. I wish they would show some of that because it was so much fun. And... Uh, but give us something that you said. What? Give us a little something. Bitch, I said that Akira had plastic hair and whatever, <laughs> and I had like she had plastic ass. I don't. I, dude, we went. Bitch, she she called me Mr. Miyagi. There was so much shit. Oh my god, it was everything. It was everything. How, you had to be there. How about you, Suki? One that moment. was the moment. That was it. Oh, bitch, gorgeous. that was the moment <laughs> for three hours. Letting them bitch read. Let me tell you, on season eleven, there was one moment. 
Mercedes had finally <laughs> got the gumption to speak to us, and she read me all day. That bitch read me while I was doing my makeup. They said, Silky, you got nothing to say? I said, she going home, let her get out. <laughs> Everything off her chest. And then she got eliminated. I felt bad. I felt bad. But that bitch had read me for filth when I was so mad about it. I said, she going home, so. That's one thing that didn't show you on season 11. I predicted every elimination. And I was right, except two of them. Yours. Was Literally that yours? mine. Was that yours, Silky? No, it was mine's and Honey's. I didn't think Honey was going home. I thought Sugar was going home. How? And I, and I thought, I, how? Because, because of the camera angles. Bitch, I was there, bitch. I saw that lip sync. Honey did not do as bad as y'all think, bitch. I'm, she didn't do bad. At, I, she, they made her look crazy, but Honey did not do bad at all on waiting for the night. Sugar can't stay in a box. And I love Sugar to death. Sugar mama, she's a mm, but she. And I thought I was going home the day Nina was going home. That's why I didn't put no elephant in the lip sync. I, I'm not lying on that, bitch. I ain't got to lie. And y'all hated me for that. But bitch, guess what? what? Hashtag Silky is coming. <laughs> on that note, roll that untucked. Let's finish this shit. All Let's right. That wraps up this episode. Yay. Yes. So are we okay with the decisions that were made on this hey, episode? Are you an assassin this season? Yeah. Nation, when you, uh, Nation, the only thing when you I'm going assassinating back. is some chicken strips after this. When you going back, Nation? I, I, I just, uh, we were just talking about that. If the opportunity presents itself and I'm able to, absolutely. Yeah, I, I. Would so that means when y'all see Nation perform in Chicago, start tipping her extra, bitch. <laughs> it ain't cheap to get on All Stars, bitch. Oh, I, I spent seven thousand dollars cash. And that God. means if Nation goes missing. <laughs> Y'all know where this bitch went. We have a couple more questions we're going to do because we're going to wrap this up because don't forget that tomorrow, Silky and Jiggly will be performing. So please, uh, 10 o'clock is showtime and they'll do a couple sets. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow. While you picking somebody, can I say something? Uh, I I have him right here. He's going to ask the question. So I can say something? So let him ask the question. So, okay. So you mean... Oh, you you just shaded. That my drag daughter, my drag sister. I ain't got no children. No yeah. baby. She's still Question. pregnant. Okay, thank God. Uh, one, thank God you're on this season of All Stars and that you had your redemption. The confidence that you had walking in that motherfucking room, that room, completely different from season four. Congratulations. Yeah. Silky. How's that Silky's brow mag- that brow magic working for you? You still using that? I still use a Sharpie at outside events. Because bitch, it can be hot. Can I say what I wanted to say? Yes, Silky, go for it, my love. I want y'all to say, y- y'all know my mirror message said, hashtag black li- all Black Lives Matters and hashtag Trans Lives Matter. On my website, silkyganache.com, I have a fan up. It's $40, and I am donating the funds to a trans housing system in La- Lawrence, Kansas, called the House of McCoy, and in Indianapolis, Indiana, the Trans Solution Center, and... I want y'all, I'm going to get them some money. So if y'all please go buy that fan, it's $40. That's all I want to say. Where could they buy that fan, Silky? SilkyGanache.com. S-I-L-K-Y-G-A-N-A-C-H-E, bitch. Yes. And if you got me on Instagram, everything's the same. Silky Ganache, bitch. We have another question for you guys, okay? Okay, so my question is for Jiggly. First, may I call you Jiggly? Everybody does. Go ahead. And second is describe the game within the game in three words. Oh, I don't know that they can do that, but can you guys? T- well, um, if they're t- I don't know what y'all talking about. The lady said, "Go home." <laughs> <laughs> All right, we will do one last question. Let's make this I one. I can answer that. No, there's a way to answer you could? it. Okay, do it. Surprising, unexpected, and gag worthy. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, we're going to do one more question uh, for both of them. Is this for both of them? Is this for both? All right, can you describe? That was my exact question. But can you just describe it in more than three words? No. I oh, no, 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 no. You tried it, mother. <laughs> you tried it. You fucking tried it. Uh, I want someone with a question for both of them. Both of them. 
Yes, both of them. Okay. Oh, I love the way you grabbed that mic. You're definitely <laughs> like he just grabbed. You know what that means? They go you straight. You know, girl. They go straight for it, girl. <laughs> it's a microphone. You, you speak ain't got to ask into no it. You don't have to touch it. Did you put trans on your ground? <laughs> Can you guys describe your runway for the episode that we just watched? Yeah. What was the oh. runway gonna be? Mine is yes. a nod to Pose and to the late Hector Extravaganza. So yeah, that that I'm Love posting that. it tonight when I get back to the hotel. So y'all will see it. Gorge. Silk. So mine what was, was my, yours? Mine was my prelim nightgown to Miss Continental Plus this year. And it was a yellow lace gown with ostrich feathers at the bottom. It's very see-through. So um I'm not posting mine because you can see mine at Continental Bitch. <laughs> Bitch, we reusing everything. Every, recycling, bitch. We economic friendly, bitch. They say you want to come on Drag Race? I already had 10 garments that were going to be used, bitch. I should go back. <laughs> you're are you, you're it, coming bitch. this weekend, right? That weekend, uh, Labor Day weekend, to support Silky and myself? You better, bitch. If she's oh, yeah. not booked and yes. busy. If she's not booked right, and busy. Right, right, right. Of course. Because she of got course. a book in. You know, we're going to let her take a book in. Of course. Ladies, did we, ladies and gentlemen, did we have a good time tonight? Yes? Woo! Please make some noise for our absolutely talented and gorgeous guest tonight. Yes, thank Ms. you. Miss Silky Nutmeg Ganache. Thank y'all for the love. Thank you. And the gorgeous Miss Jiggly Caliente. All right, we want to say goodbye to those subscribed and watching online. Everyone on YouTube, thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. also want to say one more thing. Um... <laughs> Nothing has stopped you this evening. <laughs> what would this time be different? Nah, nah, Nasha, bitch. <laughs> you knew me before Drag Race, bitch. You know yes, I was talking I like this before Drag Race. I just want to say I would love to take a picture with all of you, but you got to buy something out this motherfucking bed, bitch. <laughs> That, if you ain't gonna buy shit, I'm going upstairs to take off these heels. The bitch. most important thing. Uh, make sure nothing. you buy merch. I'm trying to buy. It's not merch. So what is it? What would we call it? Memorabilia. What they Mem call <laughs> I want you to remember me here, cause when I sign, I don't sign like the other drag race girls. <laughs> S O X O Silky bitch, Ganache. It's only memorabilia if you're dead, you dumb bitch. <laughs> the what? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nasha Lopez. It's and been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week with Kim Chi and Chara Sofia. I knew it was somebody. I'm like, who the fuck is fuck it? That. <laughs> yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Mikey up there in the DJ booth. Thank you so much. Be generous Woo. to all your bartenders. Have a lovely time. Keep drinking and eating and all that good stuff. Have a good night. Have a wait. Oh oh oh. Yeah, I think I'll pl I'll play. I ain't drunk. <laughs> bitch, I ain't even drunk yet. I got a pee too. But if you coming up here for a picture, bitch, you better buy something out this my pink furry box. I ain't playing, bitch. I'm Photos going. are not free. Is basically what she said. <laughs> bitch, say ten dollars.